They're impossible to miss and quite the source of frustration, but they're also kind of loved. I've got cones. Montreal is known for its construction cones, thousands and thousands of them, transformed into characters like Ponto, the cute little cartoon cone, and into keychains sold at St. Joseph's Oratory. Cute, yes, but it's the visceral hatred the real cones elicit that has the province saying enough is enough. Road work will still be there, but it will be better coordination, less visible, less aggressive, and perhaps less orange cones everywhere all the time. Quebec's transportation ministry says as of June, if a construction site is inactive for more than 72 hours, the cones will be removed. It's also looking at replacing the larger ones with more svelte versions at certain sites. This after a study found 94% of downtown Montreal streets were either partially or totally closed for construction in the past 12 months. There's way too many and they're too big. And, and you know, we should not be treated as a region. This is Montreal, this is an international city. We deserve, you know, to have a cleanliness, a fluidity. And what do you think of this? No comment. What about you? No? What's it like to be both loved and hated? A lot of people knows Montreal for the, the, the cones. So. For this real estate agent, though, it's actually less about the cones and more about the slow construction work. I see a lot of orange um, cones here, but people, I don't know if you see someone working right now. I, I mean, I see no one for, for at least one week who works here. Others wonder how a 72-hour limit will actually be applied. I have logistical questions around that, like, okay, you're going to move them and put them where? Out of sight, the province hopes. Sarah Levitt, CBC News, Montreal.